good morning. It is Saturday, February 2nd, so happy Groundhog's Day. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys probably have more than six weeks worth of winter left. I'm pretty sure we don't. Because, you know, I live in Florida. So the weather should hopefully start getting good soon. Um, I have a rare day where I don't go into work until later in the afternoon. So I'm going to be making some breakfast for me and Courtney. And I'm going to get a turkey going in the oven because I want to make um, like a bunch of turkey dishes to pack ahead and some turkey soup. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, this morning I have a total beef. Like my kids drive me crazy because they don't know how to finish a thing before they open up the next one. So I have two open packages of paper towels. I have two open packages of cheese and two gallons of milk that are open in the refrigerator. Ah! Drives me crazy! Got my coffee made. See, <clears throat> I don't always go to Starbucks. What is up with the light in here? I made Courtney some corned beef hash for breakfast, which he really likes, but I can't really say I care for it a whole lot, because only because it, like, it looks like dog food to me, but I mean it tastes alright and everything. And I'm pre-chopping some vegetables for some soup I'm going to make later today. And next I'm going to make my veggie eggs. So for my veggie eggs, the first thing I do is I cook up a half a cup of chopped onions, bell peppers, and there's some cilantro in here. Okay, so after I got my mushrooms, or sorry, my peppers and onions sauteed up really good, I then added about a half a cup of diced ham and a half a cup of pepper, or sorry, mushrooms and tomatoes, so like diced mushrooms and tomatoes. So just, you know, FYI, this actually makes like two servings worth of what I'm making here because it actually holds up really well and I can put half of it in the refrigerator and nuke it up for breakfast tomorrow. I know it looks like a lot because there's like a little over a cup of stuff in here so far and I'm going to be adding some eggs, cheese, and spinach to it so it's going to get a little bit bigger but, but yeah, like I said, it's going to turn out to be two meals. Okay, so now I've added three eggs and some mozzarella cheese because that's what I had handy. I literally don't do anything special with the eggs. I don't like whip them up or anything. I just throw them in. And now I'm going to take a good handful of spinach and toss that in there and give it a good mix together. And that spinach will saute down nicely. So I stir it into my egg mixture, which is really hard to do with one hand because I need to put a little extra cheese in there. Mmm. So anyway, I'm going to need both hands for this, but you get the... And there you have it, folks. Cheesy scrambled eggs with lots of vegetables and some ham in there. And then when I eat it, I'll put some, like, Frank's Red Hot Sauce on it or some salt. Well, I think I'll use hot sauce today. I like to put salsa or hot sauce on my eggs, too. But yeah, so this is literally, like, a cup of veggies plus a big giant handful of spinach and some ham and then the eggs so like I said this is two servings worth and there's three eggs in there I usually use like um, one serving of cheese like a quarter cup I think there's a little there's a little bit more in it this time because I just used what was rest left in the bag so a little bit more of that so if I were to literally eat this entire serving of it for breakfast it would fall like under my calorie guidelines for breakfast um, but I made a latte with uh, some milk, so I have to count that out and I'm gonna split it in half. I just realized that my little kitty poo is never in the vlogs. Say hi to the camera, Luna Boo. She's a little wet because I cleaned her off. Put a little flea treatment on her. Yeah, did I put some flea treatment on you? Yes, I did. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's my little chubby kitty. She's a fat cat. See, look at her. <laughs> she like drags herself when you're petting her and she gets further away and then she's like, why aren't you petting me? It's like, cause now I can't reach you anymore. Luna Boo. Yeah. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. Kitty kitty. Cooking continues. So right here I have some Italian, spicy Italian sausage, and I got some onions and red bell peppers. 
I'm going to saute the peppers, sorry. I'm going to cook the sausage and the onions and some garlic in a skillet. I'm going to move a, like everything into a crock pot with some tomato sauce and some other seasonings. And what I'm making is Italian sloppy joes. So then when I go to serve it, I'm going to serve it on a roll with some provolone cheese and some sauteed spinach on the side. Okay, so here's my turkey. It looks a little abused right here because I cut it open and I stuffed butter inside of it before I roast it so that inside, you know, it's all nice and juicy inside. This turkey is going to be turned into turkey soup, turkey salad, turkey sandwiches um, for lunches for the whole next week. This um, Italian sloppy joes that I'm making is going to be dinner tonight and a couple more days this week because I do batch cooking for the entire week. Um, and we do have a family of five and everybody is adult size so you know I got to make a lot of food to keep everybody fed and healthy for the week. Uh, let's see I've chopped up a bunch of carrots and got hummus ready for snacks so that's going to be the snacks for the week. And I'm also going to be doing a batch of my own version of Olive Garden Zuppa Toscana soup, which is pretty popular in my house and it's also like nice and healthy and the way I make it and um, everybody loves it and it keeps really well. I'll freeze like half of what I make so that people can just like thaw stuff out as the week goes on and then, so we're basically gonna rotate through three main meals throughout the week and like the turkey of course will make a couple of different meals between the sandwiches turkey salad and soup so then everybody's got something good to eat all week long and of course I got plenty of eggs for everybody to make for breakfast so um, we eat low carb so this is mostly all low carb cooking and uh, now you're learning a little bit something about how I do it in the house so we're not really going out and doing anything fun today just because it is my cooking day I do have a lot of I was supposed to work but I'm switching some things around because we have a lot of things to get ca caught up on so I'm gonna take a holiday <laughs> excuse me but uh it's like hot in my kitchen because I'm cooking in here and everything and I'm like sweating and you can see it so I've been slaving away over a hot stove all morning literally um but yeah, so you can see what I got going on here, and this is a cooking show today. Okay, so here is the butchered turkey, and I have inside the pot the carcass because I am making a broth from the carcass for our turkey soup. And I am getting quite a mess going with all this stuff that I've been cooking up in here, so I'm gonna wait, well, I'm going to clean up while this is cooking. And then in the crock pot, I have our Italian sloppy joes going. And it smells amazing. So today is going to be my amateur cooking show. So I'm taking a break from cooking to have some lunch and I'm having carrots and hummus. And OMG, this hummus that we got at Costco yesterday is so good. Like all three flavors, I mean, even the original classic is just freaking good. So good, so good, I'm so happy right now. Okay, so in this crock pot, it's very loaded high and full with uh, carrot, celery, onion, turkey, some rice and some peas, cause this is what's gonna be in our turkey soup. Um, I think I might have it a tiny bit too full. We'll see, the only thing I need to do is wait for the turkey broth to finish like boiling and then I'll be able to cover it with the turkey broth and get that crock pot in for the rest of the night. Okay so here's dinner. It's Italian sloppy joes. I put a little extra cheese on it and it might have had a little bit of a different flavor profile if I used green and red peppers but I only used red. But there's the sandwich. I toasted this like I don't know what kind of roll it is but I toasted it and then there's the sauteed spinach with salt and pepper on the side. It's gonna be yummy. And the turkey soup is done, I put half of it in the freezer and the rest I packed up for lunch. <laughs> Tell people what you think of the Italian sloppy joes that I made for the first time today. I thought it was good. I thought like, it was good. Really good. I, I, when you like put it down, I was like, this looks interesting. So I took a big old bite, just went all over my face. I was like, that's how you know it's good. <laughs> like, all right. juicy, it ain't good. There's my plate with a little bit of sweet red wine, and I'm gonna give it a try. That's pretty good. Mm, it gets my seal of approval.
healthy and pretty dang delicious. What do you think? Good thing. Is this all one direction? I think it's a winner, you did. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. I think it's a winner. I've been cooking all, up a storm. It's delicious. Okay. I was just talking for like the longest time and then I realized that the video had never even started recording so I completely lost my stride. Long day, um, it's hot because I was cooking all day, had a bunch of work to do, had other stuff to do, had to work, like just long day, glad it's over but I did get cooking for the week done which is great, um, make things a lot easier as the week goes on, I won't have to cook another meal for like three days. Um, Work all day tomorrow, but I am going to have something to say in the morning because right now we're going to watch the newest Pirates of the Caribbean on Netflix and I'll let you know what I think about that in the morning. Subscribe, like, uh, check out the videos, watch them through because if you are watching and you hear me, you can hear me say if you're coming to Orlando and there's something that you want to see, then send me a comment and let me know because like all next week I'm going to have my afternoons free. And I'm gonna need something to do to occupy myself because you know I'll be getting off of work at 1.30 and Courtney goes to work at 2 so I'm gonna have like all day just by myself. So if you want to see something, a ride, a park, or like obviously I can't really film inside a lot of rides but some of them I can like at Disney or um, mostly at Disney but uh, um, uh, if you want to see a hotel or anything just let me know. I can go check it out for you and put up a video. Um, I'm gonna need some things to do. Uh, today was a busy day at home, a lot of stuff I had to do, tomorrow's gonna be a long day at work, but uh, Sunday I don't have to go into work until later in the day, so maybe earlier in the day I'll be able to do something fun before I go to work. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys tomorrow, and today's country that I'm saying goodbye in is Belgium. The languages today are from Belgium, and in Belgium they speak French and they speak Dutch. I've already said goodbye in Dutch before. It's farvel. I know that. And in French, it's au revoir. I am so bad with French words. <laughs> au revoir. Like, I didn't even bother to listen to this one because I actually knew it. I didn't have to look it up. Um, normally, I'll like look it up and play it and everything, but Dutch is farvel which I'm sure I'm saying wrong, but at least I'm trying, and then French is au, au revoir. I've never been able to say that word correctly. I've tried so hard. But anyway, there you have it, and I'm pretty sure I have some spinach in my braces. That's awesome. See y'all tomorrow. Au revoir, farvel.